So today I thought I'd take this opportunity to do a video on my dwarf black mulberry because I want to repot it. So this is the tree here in front of me. Oh, excuse my dog, he's just getting stuck into a bone to keep him distracted while I'm doing some work. So anyway, in front of you is the dwarf black mulberry. Uh, the botanical name of this is Morris nigra. So mulberry trees are very vigorous. So I actually planted this tree out the front about six months ago. And then a month after that, I changed my mind. I had some second thoughts and decided I wanted to keep all the fruit trees together at the back of the property. So I haven't decided yet where I'm actually, where its final resting place will be. So I'm just gonna keep it in a pot. So this looks like it's in a 20, 20 centimeter pot at the moment. Anyway, this dwarf variety is good for a subtropical area like where I am in Brisbane, because it requires a, a low chill factor. That means it's good for areas that don't get very cold in the winter months. So this tree should only grow about three meters tall, about maybe 1.5, two meters wide when it is in the ground at maturity. The maintenance today is going to be just basically repotting it. It's, it's been in this small pot for nearly six months, probably five months. And I suspect it's pretty root bound being in this pot for so long. Ideally, I would like to put it in, say, a 30 centimetre pot from a 20 to a 30. But I just don't have any spare pots of that size at the moment. And I don't need to up pot any of my other plants at the moment because I did that in early spring. So for now, this big pot just there is the only one. So this is a 40 centimeter pot. So I'm gonna take this guy out of the pot and we'll have a look and see how root bound it really is. I'm not gonna make you. All right, so I've loosened the pot up and so I should be able to just lift that straight out now. Okay, I'll put it on its side a bit and drag it out that way. See how root bound it really is. Oh, it's better than I thought. So yeah, it's not that root bound. Not as bad as I thought at all. But it, you can see it is root bound. So basically, yeah, its roots are looking to go outwards to find more nutrients and it's hitting the pot and wrapping around the pot. So we're gonna need to do a little bit of cutting on that. Let me just go and get the Stanley knife. So don't be scared to, to cut the roots of a root bound plant. Especially this area right here. Make sure we cut that really good. Let's drag the roots out a little bit. I think that looks pretty good now. I'm not gonna cut any more. Um, so I've got my Searles mix, potting mix, and I'll pot it up now. I'm not gonna make you sit through that. So let me fast forward. So there we have it, folks. Repotted in a 40 centimeter pot. 
And in case anyone's wondering, my dog's name is Kirby. Kerberos to be exact, named after a Microsoft authentication protocol. And also the Greek mythological dog guardian of the underworld. Anyway, let's stick to gardening. So I'll just give this a, a bit of water to always give it a bit of a water when you repot it. Oh, I almost forgot. So yeah, young plant like this, I keep it only getting morning sun. It gets sun till about 11 a.m. here. Morning sun comes up that way and then the house protects it at about 11 o'clock from the sun. So yeah, young plants, especially these young lychee trees, I only let them get morning sun. And young plants with very, very thin trunks like this need a bit of support. So a great idea to tie it up as well. All right. Say bye, Kirby. Cyber Gardener, signing off.